complete this journey of self enrichment this enrichment has to happen at three different dimensions in life first when we are in the first stage of childhood after childhood we learn things we try to implement them and make use of them that is the stage of adulthood and once we complete that stage in our life then we also need to move out and move on into the third stage the stage of elderhood where we have to become aware of a larger picture we have to widen and deepen our widen our horizons and deepen our understanding and how can yoga help us in this this is what we will be looking at in the satyam yoga conclave which will be on saturday and sunday india time of course it will be a very unique concept instead of so called experts speaking about childhood the hopes aspirations and challenges or of adulthood young adulthood as well as parenting and elder i have invited people from each of this strata of life children adults elders they will express their hopes their aspirations their desires their focus their limitations and through that we will be able to know what are the problems where can we use yoga and how that is what i will explain in the second session the second lecture the first lecture is so to say the problem state the second is the solution exploring the solution and the third is a panel discussion on the theme we have just spoken about at that session so that way we can have very clear and firm and tangible take aways at the end of the session be it for children be it for adults be it for elders so that is how we are going to reach the culmination of our first aradhana let us call it enriching our selves so you must prepare yourself for this we have been doing it for the last one month but now we have to bring all these in our mind if you have any questions put them down share it with me so that i can address them at the conclave and this way we can do our bit to understand yoga better to implement these principles in our lives so that we can make a change in ourselves around ourselves and then ultimately the entire society and civilization can have a shift so that is the journey we have begun i had mentioned that this is the year of the breakthrough in ramayan when ram ji had lost sita and there was absolutely no way to know where she has gone what has happened they were all in the dark it was then that shri ram got the first breakthrough after his contact with numan and sugriv and once the breakthrough took place the journey was not over there was so much more to be done the entire war had to be fought but if the breakthrough had not come then 
he would not have been able to proceed and complete the job at hand. This breakthrough is the most crucial in our lives. This year is the year of the breakthrough. And let us make maximum efforts to internalize this energy so that the breakthrough comes spontaneously from within. We have to prepare a lot for the breakthrough. And this is the preparation. With this reminder and exhaustion to focus on that which is most important in our life. Let us disperse today. Keep in your mind, remain aware of the process which we had taken during the last three and a half weeks. If you have any questions, put them down, email them to me or put it into the group and uh, we will try and address them during the conclave. And the same thing should take place for the next 11. Every month, there is a theme which has been chosen. Because when Swamiji spoke of yoga, he covered a very wide range. And just instead of hearing about it, clapping and saying, oh, wonderful, it is much more practical and useful if we observe that and internalize those teachings within us. Only then the breakthrough will come. That is the effort. So, once we finish this theme this month, the next theme will come up. And this way, we will progress from one step to the next until the culmination in Yoga Pun. Aryom Tatsat Ramonarayan Jai.